Welcome. Today I would like to talk about how you can add uh, logging to your uh, Java programs easily. So let's get started. Uh, basically, let me demonstrate how the simple uh, logging can be used. And you use uh, what you want to do is import Java util logging, and that's how you get the logging functionality. So I have written a small uh, sample class called log. Uh, and the usage is basically in this uh, you call the class instantiate my log and give it the name of the file where you want information to be uh, appended to and I use the append mode because uh, typically if you are running something you want uh, all the data from the previous uh, runs also recorded so once you have that you can set the uh, logger my logger this is a, a logger that's available as a instance and you can set the level and you can set the level to what you want so in typically in this case I'm setting the level to the warning level that means um, levels which are uh, more than warning uh, would be uh, displayed and so if you just wanted to check the various levels you can see these are all the various levels and the reason I have the warning level is because I am printing uh, through the logger some messages, info message, warning message, and severe message. So it should only print uh, the warning message and the severe message. So I can just run this for now. And you can see that it uh, has got the warning message here and it's got the severe message and also the date. And if you look at the file, it gets created log.txt. So let me just open it up with a subline here for a second. So you can see it's, that's uh, pretty much it. So if I run this thing again, uh, I should expect to see the second run messages, the same thing appended again, and you can see it appended that. So it is working as designed. So let me just show you the implementation, which only should take a few minutes to kind of understand. Uh, basically, uh, um, this portion of the code is checking that if the logging file does not exist, uh, we end up creating that file. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, this uh, log function has to throw the security exception and IO exception and only because the logger can throw these exceptions so I've added those. So the second thing you can do is after you're done uh, make sure the file is already going to be there you can create a file handler and you can use it and give it a file name and your true is the mode that way it's going to be appending it to it see the boolean append. So this is a logger uh, function you are getting the logger for subsystem I just call it the test and the uh, handler I can add the file handler here you can see that and then also for the file handler we can attach a simple formatter this is a simple formatter so that's all you really need to do to get some good basic logging in your Java applications and if you want to watch this and other videos you can basically go to my website and search for Java uh, logging and I will add that video over there. Thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.